Hey there, today we're talking about the battles that we face every day. Are you facing a battle today? Let's get into it. Hey there, I'm walking through this neighborhood in New Jersey and I wanted to walk through a neighborhood today because as I was, we're going to talk about the battle today and as I was thinking about this, I was thinking like, man, there are so many battles that are being fought every single day right here in these neighborhoods. And the verse that I wanted to focus on today is from 1 John. It says, 1 John 4, 4 says, uh, But you belong to God, my dear children. You've already won a victory over those people. Because the spirit who lives in you is greater than the spirit who lives in the world. And that's such a powerful sentiment, right? That that spirit that lives in us is greater than the spirit that lives in the world. And victory... You know, sometimes victory is hard to see, isn't it? Sometimes it seems like it's so far away, so out of reach, so out of touch. Sometimes the small battles cloud the bigger picture. And sometimes the daily cacophony of sound just kind of beats the silence that we need, right? Sometimes we need the silence to kind of focus and to reset and just kind of restart the day or restart our lives almost. The battle is real. Don't think that it's not. There is a daily battle raging every day for your attention and for my attention. And your senses and your morals and your feelings and your emotions, that battle is always, always going on. We need to have a plan against it. We need an ally, an ally who will stand by our side and fight for us, fight with us. And Jesus is that ally. Jesus is the one who provides the victory. This world, let me cross the street here, I don't want to get hit, but this world, this battleground that we walk on daily, it does not claim the victory, right? Jesus claims the victory. The spirit in us is claiming the victory. And I love that sentiment, the spirit claims the victory. The spirit who lives in us is greater than the spirit who lives in the world we live in. Remember that, right? So many battles and battlegrounds are in these houses, in these neighborhoods, in our communities, in our schools, in our churches. So many people are struggling with battles. And I think we just need to remember as Christians, like, let's just claim the victory that Jesus has for us, right? I know it's hard sometimes. Sometimes the battle just is so intense. And sometimes, you know, the battle's raging. The war seems lost, right? The, lo the lines are breaking and the communications are down, but Jesus wins. He wins every time, every single time. No matter how down you are, the Spirit wins. So today, I just wanted to kind of get out of the the nature vibe for just a minute and just remind all of us, myself included, that in the middle of our neighborhoods, in the middle of our communities, like your neighbors, your friends, your family, all those people, sometimes they, they're fighting battles that they either they don't want to share with you or they're too embarrassed to share with you or they just can't even come to grips with what the battle is and it's hard. So I think in the midst of our isolation and our seclusion, like a lot, of, I hear a lot of pastors saying this, it's just like, hey, go out, maybe not even out, but just go on your phone and text somebody and just check in with them and see how they're doing. Because that battle is vicious sometimes. It's so hard for some people to talk about. It's hard for people to even come to grips with. And Jesus is saying, hey, I'm with you in this battle. So today, if you're in a battle, I don't know what your battle is. I don't know where 
you are, I don't know what your situation is, but all of us, every day, all the time, are fighting battles. And every single home in these neighborhoods and in these communities represent battles that are raging every day. So I just don't want us to lose sight of that and lose um, the idea that you know life isn't easy. Like we're all kind of in this struggle together. So how can we pray for you? Like if you want, just write in the comments, how can we pray for you? And we'll just start praying for you. And if you know somebody that needs prayer, maybe tag them in the comments and let them know like, hey, there's this guy and he's got a group of people called Monday Night Worship and they love to pray for people. So today, let's get praying. Let's fight the battles that are raging on our doorsteps. And let's remember that the spirit that is in us is greater than the spirit that is in the world. And that's something that I just want all of us to kind of just rest in today. Just rest in that promise that Jesus is greater. And the battle, yeah, the battle rages. The war rages. Sometimes it's so, so dark. We can't even see any light. But just beyond that darkness, Jesus is there. He's walking with us. All right, so that's kind of the, the thought for today is to just rest in the fact that the spirit that lives in us is greater than the spirit that's in the world. So today, prayers for you, prayers for your battles, prayers for all that you're going through, because we're all going through something. We're all struggling with something today. And just write out those comments. And if you don't want to put it in a public place, you can email me directly um, or just write it in a journal. Sometimes it's good just to get the, the thought of, you know, sometimes it's good just to get it out, right? Just to stop for a minute and say, let me just write this down and just stop, write it down. And then you have it there and you can just say, God, this specifically is what I'm praying for. This is what's working or not working in my life that I need help with. And I think he's gonna honor that in all of us. So today, the spirit that's in you is greater than the spirit that's in the world. And today, you need prayer. I need prayer. We all need prayer. So let's pray for each other. Let's fight the battles together. And let's claim the victory that Jesus has for us and claim the victory that says, the spirit that is in me is greater than the spirit that's in the world. Amen, guys. I'll take a couple shots of this neighborhood, but this neighborhood probably looks a lot like one that you've walked through before, or maybe even your own neighborhood. And maybe today, pray for your neighbor. Maybe you don't know your neighbor, but maybe just pray for them. Maybe just take a minute and say, uh, God, I know that this guy, there's something going on with him right here. And just pray for him. Just pray for whatever's going on. But that's how we can reach out just a little bit during all of this and just let people know that we care for them, that we love them. And uh, shoot a text to somebody today, make a phone call, start a Zoom meeting, um, but pray for them. Alrighty, so we'll see you guys on the next one and uh, you are being prayed for today. Amen. Take care.